Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to carry on. We should be able to finish the water condenser for these two machines just sitting beside me or behind me. So let's get on and start that one shall we. So I've got some stuff prepared already. So look, I think it's in here. Now ink sacks, black dye. I was going to look at black dye because it's actually a difficult one. And you'll see the reason it's difficult is because there aren't that many sources. You can do an ink bottle from Mystical World. I'm not sure how you get that. Then you've got the coloured dye essences from um, Mystical Agri Agriculture. Um, we've got ink sacks. Now we can do ink sacks. But how do we get those ink sacks? Normally we get them by killing um, squids. But because there are still so many animals in this pack, there aren't that many squids around. Anyway, I've been fishing and I've got my... So I've got my th stuff from fishing. In fact, this is, I think, I'm not quite sure what I wanted that for. I do know what I wanted that for. But it's something slightly different. But anyway, we'll get these done first of all. I want the six die to go around here. These are for the black plates that I'm going to need for, for the, here we go, blank plates for dark utilities that I'm going to need for conveyor belts and such machines. So the one I wanted, I found the one I wanted to make, which is a bit empty at the moment. But anyway, let's get on with this one. So here we've got, just sort my inventory here and then just take this lot. So iron gears, dead easy to make. We'll put those down there like that. And then we've got the motor that always, you know, the machine frame always goes in the middle. Two of these goes on, I think they go on the top outside here. And these go on here. And then the bottle bucket of water goes and then we should get our water condenser now I think not having said that I'm not 100% certain I just have to put it underneath so the one I want to put it underneath of course is this machine here or beside it let's just try pushing it beside it see what happens because you can give it power so let's so we'll put this beside there like that and then I guess that uh, water condensing water should probably be pushed out onto the left hand side i guess now do we have any water coming into here no 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 we've actually got enough for that do i have to do this with water underneath it maybe we do um i've got two buckets of water do you know i don't i'm not sure I did this in my test world and I'm not even sure if I use these machines to do it honest to be honest with you I thought I found a different water water generator now we can shift that down there like that and then we can maybe put this one down here like this if it's got to condense water so look no power it doesn't need power progress empty now is there any water going in here fluid empty <laughs> no ah interesting i'm not sure how it works maybe it's got to be in water like it had to be before let's just put this water down there of course we can take two more buckets of water from the slot just in case we need them put them out of the way no water condenser is there any information about this let's just push it and we've got in the water and so that doesn't help very much it's coming to night time as well. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll come back, at, I'll come back when it's there. Let's just take this one off here and we'll see if this actually does need water or not. I mean power. It's probably got no power in it now. 11%. So it's generating one FE per take. All right, I'll come back in the morning. Um, maybe I have to put this down. Down one. We can try that. Anyway, I'll see you in a few seconds. Right. I think we put it underneath. So I just did it just a test thing and it seems to work. So let's do that. Let's put another bucket of water down here. I think, yeah, that was a good place. And then we can put, oh, actually, I think I need to put the thing underneath it. Let's put the thing, <laughs> the condenser underneath this. There is a condenser. Like that. Now we should be able to see fluid amount empty. Maybe it needs water on both sides, like they used to do. That's all right, no big deal. Let's get that sorted out. A bit awkward, of course, because I'm going to put this in here, but I'll have to put that piece of dirt down here. Let's just put a piece of dirt down there. 
because I can't get the water in and then it'll flood across and it won't do anything to the torch. The torch will be impervious to it, but in fact you can prove that. Let's just put the torch down here like that. And then you can put your bucket of water in here. And so that block will be fine. In fact, the actual torch is even holding the, the water back again, fantastic. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen, though, so it does. Right. So now, this should be getting water. Nope, nope. But let's have a look at this side. Yes. So now we need to push water out of the top. Ah, it's gone. So it's actually fine. I can't give it... Well, I suppose I could give it... No, I can't really give it power easily. Unless I put power at the front. Well, I suppose we could do that. We don't need the power for that anyway. It's probably better having the power on the other side. I guess that there's going to be plenty of... I mean, on the extract... On the fluid extractor. Put that down here. Actually, I was spending... I spent the night, in fact, uh, trying to hunt for mobs, by the way. So now we're getting our water in here, which is going in slowly, but enough. So that I think it's enough, so we should get this increasing in numbers, as we, as you can see. And I think latex is actually slower, and of course the piece of wood's broken. I need to go and get another piece of wood. I wonder if I've got one in the bag. Not in there. And not in there. Yes, that's where the second diamond armor is. I was looking for that before in that bag. So I'll just put down one of these. Spruce log will be fine. So it can carry on making um, rubber for us. So I'll put that down there. Like the next thing we need to make is a brock blade. A block, a block breaker. Let's take this out of here. You can actually click it out of that. A bit strange, but you can't. And this is probably filled up in here. I guess this is blocked with yeah, silk cocoons. Um, cocoons. <laughs> Funny that you can put silk cocoons in here, but it doesn't do anything with them. So right, that's one button. So the next one we're going to make the. In fact, I think the other bits are in one of these two, I'm not sure which one. I'm looking for the, ah, oh, there we go, the rubber, so 43. I'm trying to do that by nine, I can't do it in my head at the moment, four, 36, yeah, that's fine. So that's good, because we get four of these, so let's just cook these up now. We should get a, oh, we've got some iron here ready. So we should get the four pieces of plastic from that. So we'll do that and then so the next thing we would like to do is make a block placer so i'm not sure how we do that at the moment this is what die and it's got here a die mixer from industrial foregoing oh interesting i wonder what that does we'll have to test that out some stage so anyway what we would like to do is a block placer And I think this is the one we need. Fluid placer and block placer from industrial for going. So we need three droppers and four pieces of plastic for this. We're going to get a four pieces of plastic and a piece of redstone, no big deal. So this one is four iron, four wood and one block of redstone. So let's get that out. Block of redstone is half of this lot, so that's no big deal. Four pieces of wood. That's also no big deal. Let's use spruce in this case. And then we need four pieces of iron. I've got those in here. Let's just take out four directly from this chest. And then we can craft it up. Now there is, of course, um, they go in the cross, don't they? And the wood goes around the outside. We could use simple storage. This will make life a bit easier for crafting stuff. Unfortunately, simple storage has one little problem that I don't like. It puts things where it wants to put things, so it doesn't put things together, um, which is a bit of a shame. So I should have those four bits of plastic now. Yes, good. What else do we need in here? You'll see it's night time already because I was messing around picking up mob drops. So I was uh, between afterwards. Uh, so I think for droppers. 
So that's just cobblestone and that's we just need three drop of the mint, sorry. Three three redstone and then a bunch of cobblestone. That'll do. So we can run this round here like this. Doesn't matter if I've got more than I need because we can just put those out and then we can press this button down here and it'll take everything else out. So now we need to make this. We should have everything we need now. A piece of redstone, a lost piece of redstone. Whoa. Try again. Fantastic. So now we can take the rest of this spruce wood from this cabinet here. Ten. Come along here. I think it's that high the way it works. I might have to do some fighting. I'm really looking after I'm really was aiming to get Enderman. I actually got one Enderman last time. So the block placer goes this direction and I think it needs power. I think we just put it down here like this. So then it probably does need power, yes it does. So we then put in here the, the wood and we can then take I'll make another one of these quickly, I think. While it's still night time. Solar panels, fairly straightforward. We need um, eight. So let's use these logs here. We need eight solar panels, so we need we need nine pieces of iron. So we need one for a piston. Um, we need some glass. I think the glass is down here. Oh, and I did go and get the. And I don't think I've got enough glass. I did go and get by those. Um, Leggings, by the way. So I need some more sand. She can go through the furnace. Can't find sand. Why can't I find sand? I must have some around. Um. Yeah, well, here we go. Let's put these through the. Let's put these through the furnace here. Get some more glass. I think we just need three pieces of and one more piece of glass. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's. Yeah, one will do. No, I think we need more than that, don't we? I think we need to just do. How many mirrors do we need? This will make nine mirrors. I need to make um, a lot more than that. I need another. That makes nine mirrors. And I need tw four, 27 mirrors. So we need five times that. 50. We need 50 more glass out of there. So let's get let's wait for that don't take a second in fact i'll be back in a second right. the last one of these i think i've actually got enough because i've got 50 got one in here so let's carry on with that that should be five of those so give us our mirrors so we've got 20 24 mirrors that's correct yes can't count so we need eight we need a piston that's fairly straightforward i need some redstone for that I don't think I've actually got running out of redstone fairly quickly as a top. I'll just take some redstone out of there. And then we can make a piston. It goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Three of these. That's our piston. Now we need to make the mirrors. The solar panel one. I can't remember what the recipe for that is. We made the plates, I don't care about that. So we need eight of these, so eight, basically eight, five to 40 pieces of wood. Okay, I've got 25, now that's 25 forties. I need 10. Give me 40 pieces of oak. So we should easily be able to make this up now. We've actually got exactly the right ingredients for everything, I think. That was those, and those go across here. Yep, fantastic. And then we can take these around the side. Put the piston in the middle. There we go, out it too. Solar panel. Of course, it won't work for the time being, but uh, it doesn't matter very much. Let's go over here. Let me have a quick look around. Plenty of spiders around here, but. And of course, what we'll do after this is we've got three solar panels already built here. Um, we might as well power them, use, make a 64 or two 64 ones. So let's just go around here. 
have a look if there's anything interesting. Plenty of sp spiders, of course. They're always coming up. There's a couple of mobs behind me. Not too far. So I poke out so I can see any Enderman. What I have noticed is that this Poe is... Oh, just disappeared. I killed three mobs in one hit last time I was looking for... Random in, which was quite impressive. I was quite impressed. Well, I just kill them. To look. He can't see me, so he'll walk towards me, and and then he'll stop because he's too far away, like that. Not for long, though. Oops. Got a spider over there. Can't get him. Tell you what, let's use, let's use the sword. Oh, two spiders. But what I should do with this? <laughs> I've got to press the wrong button here. Let me just get out of the way. <laughs> I need to press um, go to one and press F, and that should be right. Right. Oh, I'm not. Scared. I'm not doing this very well. Right. A bit better. And usually, I'm been doing that for a while. Anyway, I'm wasting time now. So, but what I do need is another head for another. For, that's one of the reasons for doing this, we need another head for another gravestone. The more gravestones, the better, I think. Now, this one is actually active. It's what we made last time. It's an active grave. You can see it's doing its thing. So, oops. Where on earth was that one? I, Creeper came sneaking up behind me and started to explode. They're a nuisance, these creepers, that's for certain. And I can't see him. I think he's over there somewhere. Nearly blew up things. Anyway, we'll ignore him for the time and carry on with what we're doing. So, we've done the block plate, so we've got the fuel. So this thing here is a phantom membrane and a diamond sword. So if we look for the uses of this, um, what we want to make is this player damage trap. So this is the one from Dark Utilities. So we need some um, cyan dye. Now cyan dye is a bit of a pain because you can make it, well, obviously we need um, mystical petals. That's one way to do it in a petal and mortar. And that'll give us one of those. Uh, the other way is this one. So we can use glow flowers, green dye, and blue dye. Now blue dye is no big deal, we've got plenty of that around. But green dye is a bit awkward. So the only way I, think I can find it is by cactus, which means I have to go trundling off to the uh, final desert. But, or do some mystical flowers. Now the mystical flowers, dye flowers, are also interesting. Let's have a look at that. Um, so we can make a dye seed, but a dye seed requires some dye <laughs> agglomerate. I don't know how to pronounce that. Agglomerate ratio, something like that. Anyway, it's basically lying grass. So that's also. Can we do that from anything other than shimmering petals? Maybe. I suspect the best way to do it, orange, no big deal. That's red and yellow. Pink, no big deal. Red and white. And cyan again is the same problem. So we need two greens for this. So let's go and see if we can find some greens. Um, by the way, I'm going to check while that creeper's still not around here. Make sure it's gone. Because where was I when he, when he did his little fizzing trick? Took a bit of damage that last time, didn't I? A mob over here. I can see a mob on the map here. And it's probably a creeper. But anyway, he's too far away. Don't care about him anymore. So, oddly enough, the easiest way to find mystical agriculture flowers is by going to yet another mining dimension. So we can do that, I think. 
because that requires one ender pull and we've got three ender pulls so let's have a look at that um yet another mining dimension i think it's what it's called i can't remember what it's called how to pronounce it that's what mining dimension yamda i think md oh hello we've got a trader maybe he's gonna help us out on this particular it's got light blue dye poppies no big deal sorry um and seeds i have a sorry no use to me unfortunately because the rest of it i can get from other places so what was it called yet another mining dimension i'll tell you what maybe it's out mm. i can't find it straight away I'll tell you what i'll be back in a second when i found it Right, I found it. Looking under the pearls, because I knew it required a pearl. The pearl, a, a stone pickaxe, and then we need some bricks. Let's get that sorted out and made. Bricks we need, um, that was seven, wasn't it? Seven for 28 bricks. I'll take a second to cook those up. And then we needed a stone pick. That's pretty cheap. And then the pearl, that was the one of the, the hard bits. Now, the yet yet another mining dimension it's actually dangerous <laughs> you'd be surprised now the reason it's dangerous is it does spawn mobs people just says it doesn't spawn mobs so i need 28 uh, clay i think they're in one of these two chests three chests shift that out of the way where have i put the clay maybe it's in this one here here we go so we'll actually cook up 32 in fact i'll cook up a stack not mess around with this stuff because we probably need stone bricks for other purposes anyway so we've got the glass out to there and then while that's cooking we'll make the the next bit so i'll put the glass in here for example um i probably do need to clear my inventory out a little bit if i can at least do it in these couple of chests in here so we can get rid of most of the stuff right actually got some string i'll put that in the mob drop bit because it fell into the wrong place like that and I'll sort this so right a stone pickaxe so we need some sticks which i haven't got with me but i'll make some sticks we need some stone we've got that so that's a big deal so we can cook those up and the pearl we've got i think they're in well don't know where i put them you see i actually got one of these fragments so they're not very generous dropping things at the moment and that was with a fortune four pick no less um this what, looting four unbelievable wouldn't you'd expect to get more than that wouldn't you anyway didn't so now we just want those bricks not ready yet i'll be back in a second when they're ready all right that's what we need the 28 let's take those out of there but we can craft those into bricks pretty easily just in ourselves so we get seven bricks which i think is what we need for the thing so it was if i remember right, it was a little a cauldron of things a stone pick at the top and an ender pearl in the middle should give us a yet another port port uh mining dimension portal let's go and put this down I'm going to put it in here. It doesn't really. I don't think it matters on the slides where we put it. Let's make a little hole in here. But what I should do with me is take with me some stuff. Make sure we've got enough torches. I've only got three at the moment. It's not a very good number. And I would like to take some fences. Have I got fences with me in the bag here? Oh, I've got plenty of fences in here. And in here I should have some fire, fiery glass. six actually that will do i don't need that many we're only gonna make a small little base i think i've got enough stuff in here as well make a little house and maybe i'll put a pane with a few panes of glass in there as the windows and let's go and have a go so let's put this down here i think that'll be fine all right click it oops <laughs> a torch on it first thing we're going to do is mark it of course p for portal no, I press P. What happened? Did I do that for? I just press B for portal. That's it. Yeah. 
and we'll make it green because then it's easier to see I think I'll make it bright green yep confirm so this is the portal and around here we should see lots of flowers so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a quick house around this and I'll come back in a few seconds well here's my creation <laughs> not very sophisticated um, well, all it is just some walls, but I'm basically lit up some walls that spawn in this side in here, but they can spawn outside. Let's turn it off again. Uh, and that's going to see if we can find some mystical agriculture flowers. You can see here we've got some black ones already, which would have, of course, been good to make the black dye. Mystical black flowers. I really could do with a magnet, I'd be honest with you, because I'm going to drop stuff on the floor here. Something ever dropped over that would be an egg because the only thing in here is chickens or passive passive mobs. So, let's have a look. What have we got over here? Some sheep and some mystical blue flowers. I can see some pink flowers over there as well. We don't need too many of these. I think my inventory will probably get a bit full. Let's have a look. Yeah, probably, to do 16 is going to be a bit tricky. We've got in here, get rid of possibly everything I don't need into here. Let's get rid of those planks, that's will do. Maybe there's enough space in there now. Um, just to be on the ship, so I'll put the glass into this one and the wood and the food. So we've basically just got what we need. Oh, this one I'll put in as well. We won't need the sleeping bag, of course, because it's always daytime. And a hoe, that'll do fine. So I was picking up these blue flowers, wasn't I? And over here we've got some lilacs. I don't think that lilacs will do for green dye. Hopefully we'll find some green. This is, what's this one? Mystical cyan, perfect, we need this. I think this is light blue. Yes, this is mystical light blue flowers. These are tall ones. I can't remember the, what the significance between tall mystical flowers is and normal ones. I tell you what, I'm not going. You see what I'm doing? So look, we've got some white ones here. All of these will make dyes. I shall come back in a short while when I've collected what we need for what we need I see some red flowers will be good too but I expect mystical red ones will be better than what I'm picking up here right see you in a short while right I have got all the petals all the colors anyway all the flowers um and they're actually very easy to see of course because we're in this um very flat area which you can see a long way so you can, nothing really gets very well hidden so we can just go back now it's night time, but I close the door. So now we need to make a pestle and mortar. Do what we'll do is quickly make a pestle and mortar. Let's see if we've got bowls in here. So we can make a take one of those out of that, I think. Pestle and mortar, what's this? I'm not sure what it is, depends. Let's have a look. So look at the uses of the bowl. So we just need a plank. So all I'm missing is a stick and a plank. Um, let me think now, because I've got all of these petals in, let's just move them all into that and take out the stuff that we actually need. We can of course breed these all up, let's sort those now. I'm not sure if they sort, oh it does actually sort them in the correct order, fantastic. So you can see that we've actually got all of the correct colours in here, so we should end up with tall ones at the end. I did get a few tall ones, so there's 9 plus 7 which is 16, great. So we needed a stick, and I think everything else is in the, in these bags here, like this. Planks. Take them out of there. Cornflower, of course, will give me blue, and that's one of the reasons I had it in there. Um, tomato seeds, I don't need, don't need the arrow either, because we've got the bow. So let's just get rid of what we can out of here. Make some space. Keep our inventory clean. It takes a few seconds and it's well worth doing. It's very easy to do with this, with this mod, so that's good. In fact, the blue ones are trading materials, so let's put the pumpkins in there. Good. 
So we just needed a stick. I'm sure I've got some sticks somewhere. Where do we put the sticks? They should be in here. Oh, I know what I did with them. Of course, I made, I made them all into... Um, I made them all into torches, didn't I? So let's just take our piece of wood in here. Make some more sticks. So now we've got everything I think we need to make the pestle and mortar. So let's have a look at the uses of that again. Pestle and mortar. So now we can make the dyes. Um, the one I wanted first of all was cyan dye, wasn't it? To finish this off, I think we need the cyan dye. We need these three blank plates underneath here like that. Um, I'll go back to the uses of this one because I've forgotten the uses of uh, the recipe. So we need, yeah, two cyan dye. And then we can make these three player damage traps. Very effective, by the way. Let's do that. In fact, let's get the two. I should have plenty of cyan. Mystical light blue cyan. I've got ten. And I think one makes two powders. We'll just see. Petal and mortar. We have to turn these into petals at all. Two petals. Two dice. Yeah, fantastic. So now we can finish this thing off here. So let's just move everything. Let's just shift it down like this. And we'll come along here. And we'll actually do the uses of this again because the brain doesn't have that many uses, fortunately. And we get our player traps so like this. Now the next thing I want to do. I'd probably run out of time in my series, but I'll sh I'll show you what we're doing down here. So this is all come. This is all out now, and in here I've got three of these pushers, and you can't go past these pushers. I tell you, they're just impossible. And I think they're all set up. So I come to this point here, and I've got to put some more at the top, like that, and some redstone. And if I'm standing in front of this, there's no way I'm going to be able to walk past this bit. So here, we're going to put three... <laughs> it's not such a good idea. Let's put, turn these torches out of the way. We're going to put three of these things into the way. And we're going to push the mobs into those three um, player traps. So just, I thought we'd better make them, might as well make the vector traps, uh, the, vector, the vector plates while we're here as well, because they're pretty straightforward, I think, once we've done. Once we've got one of them made. Look for the uses of that one. So all we need is the vector plates. There they go. I think it's this one here. So we need a slime ball will make six. We only need six because we've got three. It's nine across that thing. So we need one slime ball and two sugar and six plates. Okay. We should have at least one slime ball in here. Yep, good. Get those from killing those little beetles, by the way. Um, one slime ball, two sugar. I think the sugar might be in here. Well, it's not yet sugar, but it will be in a second. My series do seem to be going on a little bit at the moment, and I'm not sure why there's such a lot to do, I guess. Like that. So now we can come set everything up. And I need to make more of these. Um, very straightforward recipe. So we're just going to come along here like this. And put them down. So the way you put them down is the way you're going to travel. Holding down shift will prevent you moving across on them. Uh, I do need to move across here. And then we can put our three player tra uh, three grinders here. If I need to make more, I need to make more. Hold on a second. Because this is, I think, the centre point is here. So I do need a fourth one. I can miscount it in that case. That's all right, we've got enough. We've got enough materials for another one. One, two, three, four, that's right. So we'll put these down here like this. And these things do hurt, so I'm not going to, I'm going to avoid travel, uh, climbing on them. They kill mobs really fast, so I guess they hurt a lot. <laughs> so we need another slime ball. My last slime ball of two, which isn't very many, really, is it? See, I've got another one of these phantom membranes. Not too difficult. 
just get them with the bow and you get them when they're flying and down and attacking you. What was I looking for? And um, plates and that. And I've forgotten what it um Oh sugar wasn't it, yes. Get that sugar out of the bag here. So I guess it's the same recipe as last time. One of those like that, and then the plates go around the outside. Oops. So right, we've got enough of those. <clears throat> now the other thing we need, of course, is the um, feathers for making more of these things. So obviously that's why I've been growing chickens here. There's probably so many chickens around, it's not ridiculous. So let's get out my bow, um, my sword. I think I want the looting five one, which is this one here. Let's go, boop, boop, and try with the sword, of course it would help, wouldn't it? Um, how many have I got now? 21. Of course you get roast chicken as well when you're doing this. 26. Probably around about enough, but for the time we will make a few, we'll get a few more. <laughs> I can quite happily slaughter all of these chickens to be done honest with you. Because there's so many eggs here, we'll make another batch of chickens really quickly. So the recipe for the other bits is also very straightforward. As long as it becomes night. So if I look for the uses of these here, feathers. So four feathers is going to make one of these. So we need pistons. I've got 48, so that's that 12. I think that's not quite enough. I need another four. Um, so we need 48 redstone plus pistons. So we need 12 pistons. Okay, that shouldn't be such a big problem. Take the iron out of there. Take the redstone out of here. Take the wood out of here. I'm going to do 16. I've got 16 here. Another 16. Give us a stack. Minus four, twelve, do not it? And then we need a, a stack and a half of cobblestone. So pistons, not very well spread out, but not very much. I forgot to make the. I'll make five to start with. I forgot to make the the wooden planks. That's okay. Let's just push that down in there like that. My inventory is full because I've got eggs, full of eggs. Let's, why do I put eggs? By the time we can put them in here, I think. So now we can just do the rest of these in pistons. 49. I'm not sure exactly. I'll say 48, didn't I? For my feathers I put away. 49 feathers. Uh, rest speed. I'm just having a quick think here. We need four. That's 12, isn't it? So we need another seven pistons. Okay. For the amount of feathers we've got, that is. So let's have a look. Click on. Oh, yep, yeah, in the right place. Let's do the recipe of this one. Shift click it in. And then we've got 16. I want seven. I shall do eight. No big deal. And then we can make these. Um, up, so let's look at the uses of that one. 11 because I've run out of redstone. Oh dear. Actually, I could only make one more. Have I got any more redstone in? No, nope, I've run out of redstone. But I do need more redstone. I'll tell you what, I'll just go and get some more redstone. It won't take a second. There's some down here. I'll see you in a second. Well, I got the redstone. That was no big deal. So let's make the last one of these. Then we also need 12 redstone torches. Um, I hope I've got enough for blocks actually. I'll take all 15 of these and then we'll make some blocks. And now I think I've run out of redstone again so I'm going to have to come back and make 
do some more redstone. I'll put this further away in it's in here, isn't it? So next time, and we'll also put this redstone here. Oh, actually, I've got more. I'm probably not sure how much I need, so we'll just take what we've got here and we'll come back. So what I'm going to do is very straightforward, and it doesn't take a long time at all to do this. The only thing is I need a way to... I can grind them up, it's no problem, but I need to pick up the items. So what I'll do is I'll build a trough down here, but first of all, let's go and finish this off. So the idea is we we basically put these three here like that. We then put behind these um, some redstone torches, as I said. Now I have to do that from the inside, don't I? So I'm going to knock these. Oops. <laughs> oh dear, I forgot. I've got the wrong pick in my hand, haven't I? <laughs> That was very fast. Didn't even realise I'd done it until I picked it up. There you go, too. Oh, they went to my off hand. I was careless. Right. I don't need this on anymore. For the time being, we'll turn that off. Now, there is a very neat player thing. I told you about this before. Let's finish this off here. Press shift and put those last two down like this. There is a grate as well. Maybe I should put a grate underneath here, um, so we can actually, I'm not sure if it'll work, we'll try it. But these things go this way. So I need one, I need eight here on each side of this, don't I? Four on each side, that means I need eight, so let's take this big axe, not so aggressive as the other one. And you have to put them this way, the way you want the, the things to be pushed. It'll push items as well as people. I've got 12, so I've got four extra, but I need more, obviously. Let's break these up. Don't need this. I could have left some pickups in here, couldn't I? But we might as well push everything across. The problem is spiders. Spiders are a pain because they fly up. And they are difficult to get down. But that's enough now, and that should push them over here. So what we're going, then going to do is I'll just sneak out my way out of here like this. Is to build a little trough down here, wherever they come into country, they're basically going to come in here, aren't they? They're going to, in these three spaces. They want this wooden thing in here. Let's get this out. I'm probably using the wrong tool now, of course. Pickaxe isn't the best for that. And I should have some more stuff in here. I do, yes. I've got a crafting table down here. Not I'll make one because they ain't expensive. Put it down there. One of us basically is make some slabs. I want just two sets of slabs. Twelve would be more than enough. No, nope, I need more than that. That's nine across, isn't it? It's, I know it's nice. Eleven across. So the idea is I'm going to put slabs down here so that it keeps things dark. Top slabs. And I can reach mobs from that this area. You see that one got moved. So in here we can should be able to reach I'm going to go down another block actually. That's why I've got this bit these slabs. got down here. Aluminium and coal. I'll leave it for the time being. Maybe in my own time I'll mine that up. So if we put down some slabs like this. I hope I'm not too long in this episode. I guess I'm going to be. You're just at the right height to hit mobs. And if I put them up here. I need to put them on that, don't I? They won't be able to see you because they're at the front here. In fact, now I need to get out of here. So let's just... Have I gone back far enough? No, I need to go back one more here. Take this back two. Take this out one. Ah, oh, we need to go... Oops, I want that one actually. We need one block in here so we can get out. Like that. And then we need one slab in here. And then we just need the one slab in there like that, and that should be fine. So we need to remove those torches next. 
And again, we'll do the other side here. Where's my pickaxe gone to? This is the bad place. I'll probably have to fill this up anyway. But I've got to remove those torches, so we'll do that. And what we have to do at the top, of course, is to get the pushes to push things down again. Um, I think we'll go in this side here, because it's no big deal. I'm just holding that shift. I don't want to get too near that. <laughs> and then we just need to put in here some pushers to push these down. Let me just remove these three, because <laughs> I'm being a bit cautious. I don't think they'll be an instant. They're not an instant kill anyway, so that's fine. So this is where we're going to put our bits and at the back here I'm gonna put in missed twice. I'm gonna put in blocks. And I'm going to put down a grid so I'll go and get that stuff we need and I'll see in a second. I actually had most of the things with me anyway so that's, let's put those down like this. And then we can put beside those these these pushers here like this. So that, that'll push things down. You won't notice it pushing things down because we're already down. Um, let me put these two cobblestone back in again. I emptied out my cobblestone a bit as well, like that. And I think the last thing I would like to, do, of course, is put an iron door here. But before we do that, let's get rid of these torches. Make sure that the thing is nice and dark. Because mobs won't spawn just yet because <laughs> it works nicely, doesn't it? Leave that last one. Because we've got no, they're not 24 blocks away, so they won't spawn until 24 blocks away. I'll put these down like this. Push that out. Let's get out of the way here. So we need to fill in this doorway. In fact, I, do, I need to do that before I go and do anything else. Let's just put these two planks down here like that. And we might get some mobs spawning in here. The only thing I'm curious about is whether or not I can put a grate and these on top of a grate to pick up the mob drops obviously I would like to do uh, a hopper but I can't do the hopper yet because I haven't got the blaze rods maybe next episode we go to the, the nether and find a fortress of course I know where a fortress is because I've already oh, look there are three drops in the middle of that room already I wanted a door have I got a door in one of these places by the way that is for the um alloy smelter i want to make the upgrade the alloy smelter we can do next time maybe oh where would i put the doors oh here we go iron door so we need an iron door and a lever and that'll be fine so all i have to do now is wait for mobs to spawn here the idea, of course, being that... <clears throat> so put it on. I think I'll put it on this side. don't think it makes any difference. Of course, I didn't put down the redstone torches at the back either. I'll have to do that. Just in case there are... No, oh, there's a mob over here. So. See if they, anything, anybody moves across. that so anything in here will get pushed across down to the bottom and into the middle here no mobs here yet let's just or let's get these two planks out of the way then we could be able to put an iron door and I don't know whether the iron doors probably are a bit transparent might not be ideal yep so we can simply put a block in front of it if it's too if it's too light um I'm not going to do that, just put a block wood in there like that. So we should be able to see in here quite happily. We should be able to hit any mobs that come along. And between episodes, I've obviously got to um, do something about... Yeah, to fill in the rest of these here, because we need... I did four, didn't I? So we need a few more than four. And I think it's dark enough. Let's just press F4 to make sure. Now this isn't completely right, I don't think, for this. 
you can see it's got some green bits here and um, these are top slabs so they shouldn't let any light through unless of course it's changed in versions of my uh minecraft let's put this torch down can i put it down here I see what i could probably put a resident torch down no it doesn't make enough light does it all right i have to put another one back So they shouldn't let any light through, even if this is actually there. And that's lit up well enough, so that's fine. So the, the mobs are only going to spawn in here anyway. Hopefully they will do at some stage. In fact, what I'll do is I'll wait a bit now and we'll see what happens. And I'll come back in a few minutes when there are mobs around. Right, I can see mobs down here. So let's go and have a look. Oh. Yes, there should be XP and there should be drops. Indeed there are. Bats and strings. I mean, we've had some spiders in there. I don't think I can reach them. Why not? Mm. I need a magnet. I'll tell you what. Since it's working, I'll come back with a magnet. Right, I'm back and I've got a magnet. You see, I just needed to pick up the uh, this thing. I should have picked up those two bat wings. I have in the string. Yes, we've got it. So just having the <laughs> the fishing rod in your possession, in your hot bar, will allow you to pick up these bits and pieces. So I was going to test out the iron grate. I think I'll do that. I'll do that now, actually. But I have run out of time. I've done well over 50 minutes now, so I don't want to keep you too long. So if you, if you don't like long videos, I do apologise. So quickly, I will do a quick iron grate. I think it's just... I've got the iron in me, yes I have just that gives us iron bars and four iron bars together will make an iron grate I don't know if it's going to work so we'll only make one and what I want to do with this is to put this underneath the um, I almost expect it will go underneath if I put it underneath here somewhere in the middle so let's just pick the middle one here maybe it will work if we do it here I'm not 100% sure so let's just, if I break this one out, it's going to break this one. Oh, it didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so let's just put the iron grate down here. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Good. So, and I guess we can put a chest on something underneath that. We'll actually pick up the bits. Can we do that? No, we can't do that. Um, let's get the bow into my hand and pick up the stuff see uh, and I'll just put back a piece over here I'm not sure how to deal with this yet let's tell you what let's just break out these two bits here put in a chest here and we should be able to open this chest and I I'm not sure whether this will drop them through to there we'll see um, but that's all we need to do I guess I'll just block this bit off here just to be safe maybe I need to put a slab down there so I can actually access that chest we'll see what happens anyway so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it uh, next time I think it's time to go to the nether so I'll see you later I'll see you then bye for now